In this short video, we're going to take a look at one way that we can use playbooks to support a P1 incident raised via ServiceNow. We're going to follow along from the incident being newly created through to resolution, and we'll see how Matamos supports the collaboration across various team members. To start with, we see a new incident coming in from the ServiceNow integration. Notice how this already has a reply associated with it. In this case, we've configured our playbook bot to watch for incidents coming in with the tag P1 in the name field. We've defined this as a trigger for our high priority incident checklist playbook, and we can see the option being presented to run the specified playbook. When we click this button, we're asked to provide a run name for the playbook. Submitting this creates a private channel for us and automatically adds our team members. It also creates a specific run of this playbook to guide us. We can see in the Run Details window an outline of the process, links to helpful resources, and a list of current participants. We also have a checklist of tasks to be completed to guide us through to resolution. Our first task is to open an audio bridge for this issue. We can do that by simply clicking the Run link for that item. Then that task can be checked off. Next, we want to share the Surface Now incident in the channel. Again, the command is provided and can be accessed by clicking on the run link or by manually typing the slash command. We're presented with a dialog to select the specific incident that we're working with. Here we can search for three different types of records, incidents, problems, or change requests. Once we've found the incident in question, we simply hit the share button and the current status is displayed in our channel. We can use the buttons at the bottom to update the current state if required, and to complete our task, we'll pin this block to the channel so that it can be quickly referred to by the rest of the team. Our next task is to identify the incident commander. We do this simply by typing a message into the channel, tagging the nominated individual. Note that we can flag this message as being both urgent and requiring acknowledgement. Once it's been acknowledged by the incident commander, we see the counter increment against the acknowledgement icon. Over time, as the incident progresses, other team members complete outstanding tasks until we get to the point that the incident has been resolved. The incident commander provides details of the resolution and checks off the appropriate task. Similarly, another team member adds a screenshot from the monitoring system that initially caught the issue. At this point, we can start looking at the post-mortem and we can update the ticket in ServiceNow. We paste in some additional information, at which point we could go to ServiceNow and close the ticket. We recommend performing the close directly in ServiceNow in case there are any rules or automations in place. The final action that we'd like to take place is to have our AI assistant provide a summary of everything that was in the channel associated with this incident. We do this by simply asking the bot to write a summary of the channel, formatted in Markdown. If we look at the reply to this message, we can see the AI writing the summary in real time. Finally, we can see that one of the team has marked the run as complete, and we have an opportunity to complete a retrospective report if required. In this video, we walk through an example of managing a P1 incident using Mattermost playbooks, including seeing how this can be enhanced through integration with ServiceNow. I hope this has been useful for you, and I look forward to making more videos for you in the future.